One last point I would like to make is some of the modules that we will be covering throughout this series. So we'll definitely be introducing TensorFlow. Next, we'll step into creating our own, our first neural network. We will then go through debugging and monitoring neural network. And this is where the challenge lies mostly, right? So this is where everything goes down the toilet when it comes to neural networks. It's very hard to debug them. It's very hard to monitor them. We will see how TensorFlow enables us to do those things with ease. Okay. We will go through something called transfer learning. We will introduce these concepts as we go along. And then we'll step outside the realms of TensorFlow and introduce some add-ons, namely Keras and TFLearn. Both of these libraries have an underlying TensorFlow implementation. So we're not crossing our boundaries, so to speak, but we uh, we will go through some high level abstractions on top of TensorFlow in the form of Keras and TFLearn. Okay. And finally, we, will, we are going to summarize the whole thing for you so that it kind of, I can kind of engrave it inside your heads. So, like I said, I'm here to make you an expert in the TensorFlow skills. So, with that being said, I hope I have communicated the context. Why TensorFlow? What is TensorFlow? What are tensors? Why the name TensorFlow? What is the language interface? What is the environment or execution interface? We will definitely step through the details of each and every one of these concepts with real life practical examples.